And that's how we spell espresso martini. For the newbies, we don't spell it with an S because S is a bit wrong. We spell it with an X. So we pronounce it espresso martinis because they are generally a lot better uh, <laughs> than um, it's a running joke. It's a, when I have sinuses, I can't say espresso. So when my sinuses play up, so I always, and the amount of grief I got in the comments for that. So, right, that's nice and uh, clean. I've got strawberry in there. That can just sit there for a couple of minutes. Right, so espresso martinis, where do we start? Uh, I'm going to tailor this for not high street bars because they'll know what they're doing. I'm going to tailor this for you guys at home and pubs. That's essentially where I'm going for. Now, pubs may not have a uh, proper all singing, all, all dancing coffee machine. Uh, so this is the route we're going to. So first off, I'm gonna go back to front. Instead of going base spirit, I'm gonna go coffee first. This, and it's really gonna annoy, hang on, I can get to the camera. I just wanna see why the autofocus is not uh, working. Where, that's the wrong one, I want. Sorry, you'll just see me playing about on camera here. I'm not sure. Damn, autofocus. I think I've accidentally yeah, I can't fix it. I'll, f I'll find it. I can't, it's not, yeah, there we go. I'll just hold it there. I'm really sorry, it's not focusing, but I'll kind of, you can see it back there. So this is the espresso that I've used for ages. Uh, it's Nescafe, it's literally like £3.50 uh, in Tesco's. And honestly, this stuff is good. I, I'm, I am a coffee snob. I do like really good coffee. I don't do wet and wishy, uh, what, what's the word? Wish, wh wishy washy coffee, I, I don't like that. I don't do normal Nescafe gold blend or anything like that, I do nice coffee. Now, if I was at home, if I had my uh, Nespresso machine, which I've got, I use the purple pods, the Arpeggio or Arpeggio, whatever you wanna call it. They're kind of my favorite. Uh, however, this, I've drunk this at home now for quite a long time. Uh, so this is, this is the, now the thing, the secret to this is you make it like an espresso. You don't do a spoonful and then fill your whole cup with water because that's an Americano. You wanna make it as an espresso. So do a heaped teaspoon of that. And the Nescafe Azera is not bad as well. I just prefer this one. So you do a heaped teaspoon of that with about 50 to 100 ml of water. Proper espresso size, okay? So don't dilute it too much with too much water. You want proper espresso size. So that's perfect just to have lying around. And I've got some already batched up here. Uh, you can just make this in advance. I've got enough here for probably four, maybe five cocktails. Um, going on, but I swear by this stuff. I think that is absolutely genius. Okay, and yes, as you'll see, you will recreate the crema on top. It will give you a nice kind of proper crema on there. The one thing I will say about it is, don't batch it down for like use tomorrow or the day before. Make it or um, in two days' time. Make it fresh to order. Okay, so that's our coffee. That's what we're using for our coffee. Let's just go back to the the chat. Sorry, I don't know whether there's questions coming on. Uh, that's cool, that's cool. Right, so now we kind of attack the coffee liqueur. Now there's two routes we can go down for the coffee liqueur. We can go, and I don't mean brands, I mean routes, okay? So there's two routes. Brand-wise, we can go down a whole different rabbit hole of different brands. There are loads of different coffee brands out there and people have their favorites. But the routes I'm talking about is either a sweetened coffee liqueur or an unsweetened coffee liqueur, like Mr. Black, for instance. Now. I love both of them equally, but I have different uses for them. With Mr. Black, it is literally just an alcoholic cold brew coffee. There is no sweetness added to it. So the way I, the way I describe espresso martinis to people uh, and to get them to make it, you know, people always complain that, oh, that's not quite right, I didn't like it, and they get put off by a bad experience. Now, for me, the easiest way to explain it, think to yourself, do you have sugar in your tea and coffees? If so, then something like, it's a standard out and out espresso martini, something like Mr. Black is not gonna work for you because it is unsweetened. So you're gonna need to sweeten it up. But the caveat to that is you can use all your flavored sugar syrups and I've got, uh, where's my vanilla? Like for instance, you can do a vanilla, you can, the, Mr. Black works perfectly for flavoring espresso martinis up. So uh, just, I, I've put them away now, but we've just been playing out in the office. I've got things like um, Speculoos, I've got gingerbread, I've got maple spice, I've got, uh, what's the other one, popcorn, uh, vanilla. You can kind of do all those different flavor riffs because that is unsweetened. Whereas if you add these to Kahlua, for example, it's gonna make it too sweet especially for me. For some of you that have got really, really sweet tooths, it might be perfect. You know, there's no right or wrong here. I'm not saying you have to use Mr. Black. I'm just saying you have to understand your palate. So, um, 
Oh, or you could just add plain sugar to that. This is a bit more expensive. Uh, I've got no idea of uh, normal prices. I'll be honest, uh, this bottle and uh, I've got another one at home was gifted to me. I've got a funny feeling it's roughly about 30 pounds um, in the UK, but at least 25 pounds, but probably up at about 30, if I'm being honest. Uh, and you can tell it's proper coffee. I've, I've shaken it, but you've kind of got um, all, the, all the coffee will set to the bottom. So that's kind of why I like Mr. Black. Now, Kahlua, on the other hand, as I say, is a sweetened coffee liqueur. It does the job very, very, very well, uh, especially if you just want a plain espresso martini. It's not over sweet, but it has got that sweetness to it. So Kahlua would be one if you've got a sweeter tooth, but as I say, it is very, very difficult to then create an espresso martini, uh, a flavored espresso martini, unless you're using the flavored base spirit. So if you're adding sugar syrups to that, I'll say it again, I think for me and for a lot of people, it's just gonna to be too sweet. Um, but that's down to you to decide. So let's get on to the base spirit. Now, traditionally, the espresso martini is just, and that's the one spirit I didn't bring over. What an idiot, all my spirits are over there, is vodka. I've got vanilla vodka, let's, let's just rock with that for a second. Um, so pretend that's just vodka. That is traditionally the espresso martini. It's vodka, it's coffee liqueur, it's espresso. Uh, for me, the perfect ratio, always, and it's what I swear by, is um, equal, equal measures. So if you're doing, you would probably do a bit more than 25 mil, let's say 50 mil. If you're doing a double bubble of vodka, you do a double bubble of your coffee liqueur and a double bubble of espresso, okay? Keep it equal. That is my go-to. I've sworn by that for years and years and years. And just, just to clarify that, that is exactly what Kahlua preach as well. Kahlua always, and have done for ages, ever since I've used them, preached equal measures. Now, this also, I will go into another little caveat here, I'm keeping an eye on time. This will go also depend on your coffee. Because as we know, all coffees are different. The way they're blended, the way they're roasted, uh, you know, how long it's been open. If you go to a not so busy a restaurant, for example, that doesn't do a lot of coffee, the chances are their coffee beans have gonna be opened for a lot longer. And obviously the coffee's gonna go, not off, but it's not gonna be nice and fresh as what it was. So you've kind of got that bitter element to it. So often when people say to me, actually, oh no, I, you can't do equal measures, uh, it's just not right, they kind of dial back the espresso or something, that's generally because the espresso is not fresh. I promise you, if you have nice fresh espresso, with the beans a proper bang on it, Equal measures will be perfect. But again, it's that whole, it's not really science, but it's that whole kind of blending to find your perfect ratio, okay? For me, for something like that, and the Nespresso machines, or uh, the other machines that I can't think what they are off the top of my head, um, completely gone, but coffee machines at home, if, even if you've got a proper grinder at home, if the coffee has literally been opened a couple of days, it'll be bang on perfect for equal measures. But always plain. Now, uh, as I said, traditionally, Hey Claire, how are you? Uh, traditionally, the espresso, the, the base, as I say, the base spirit is vodka. But we can go down so many different rabbit holes here. The first one, obvious one, I've got it here to hand, is um, vanilla vodka. You could do vanilla espresso martinis very, very easily there. Uh, one that I love, my personal favorite, and I absolutely love this espresso martini, and again, whee, he's caught. Uh, again, this is uh, a brand that's just been gifted to me. I, I know them quite well. Uh, brandy. Think of this as a brandy. Uh, so I love brandy-based espresso martinis. You have to think, when you go to like old school, especially in the 90s and the early 2000s, like Irish coffees, Parisian coffees, brandy coffees, all that after dinner, all they are essentially is like espresso martinis, essentially. So you've got to think the Irish coffee is Irish whiskey. So we know that's going to work. Parisian coffees, brandy cognac, whatever you've got at home. We know that works. Uh, we used to do one Calypso coffee, which I haven't got it to hand, but Tia Maria, for instance. Um, so, and I need to chat about that as well. I'll go down the other different brands. So Tia, Tia Maria, for example, I would link in with um, Kahlua Sweetened, whereas um, Maraba and uh, there's one uh, Conquer, for instance, in the UK, Conquer Coffee Liqueur is unsweetened. So have a look. Cold, if it says cold brew on there, traditionally it'll be unsweetened. Anything else will be sweetened. So that's the two different categories. So we've got Parisian coffees. It's uh, brand-based there. Uh, another one I love doing is spiced rum. Spiced rum works exceptionally well, uh, especially something like DMF, nice vanilla notes to it, a little bit of lime to there. So you can kind of have little plays in there. I've also, and I'm not, I didn't get it out for this, but, um, I've got three other flavors here. 
the kind of work. And people on my channel will know that I'm not a huge fan of um, DMF Banana, but uh, it's not bad. So mixing neat is not great, but when you mix it with cocktails, it's actually not bad. So you can have a banana espresso. Banana and coffee is a tiki match made in heaven. All right, so you can do banana espresso martinis. A coconut espresso martini works a treat as well. Coconut rum. Bear in mind, this is rum, not Malibu, not liqueur. This is rum, so proper strong rum, uh, not sort of half strength ABV. And then obviously liquor 43, which is a vanilla, lots of 43 herbs and spices, but vanilla uh, predominant through there. It's a massive thing in Spain. Spain, uh, especially in, if you go off the beaten track, so when it's not too touristy, uh, the Spanish are very famous for having like a little shot of liquor 43 as a side then mid-afternoon, um, um, I forget what the word is, what's their, what's their, cortados, is that their Spanish? Cortados, but espresso essentially, or like a, a mini flat white, something like that. But they will have a side shot of liquor 43, the vanilla. So you've got all those kind of different, um, different routes to go down. Now, just to prove, uh, how are we getting on for time? We've got there. I'll dive into questions as well. So if you've got people watching, if you've got any questions about espresso martinis, other things that you can add, please dive into the old comments. I didn't put that thing up on top, did I? Oopsie, let's put that there. That, that, woo, that one, that's the one. Right, uh, so if you've got any questions, whack them in the comments. We'll get to them in there. And Instagram, this is firing through. Uh, Dancing Annie, hello, Dancing Annie. I didn't, uh, we'll get to that. Any advice on using Nespresso? I think I covered that, but um, Nespresso, as I say, it, they're identical. Just do it. Use So use the espressos, not the lungos. Um, again, the lungos are blended for Americanos, so they're a bit weaker. You want the espressos. So the ristretto one, which is a black one, the purple, I, I swear by the purple one, the arpeggio, that's kind of arpeggio, whatever you want to call it. That's what I would use. And again, you just use, especially on a, I forget what my machine is now. I've got the two buttons. So I've got a Lungo and an Espresso button. Uh, I use the Espresso button. It's literally, I think it comes out about 75 mil. Um, but 75 mil is perfect. That's what you want. You want punchy Espresso. You don't want weak, wishy-washy coffee. Say, don't go using your instant, um, just normal coffee at home. Your, I keep saying Maxwell House, but your normal sort of gold blend and that. You want Espresso. Uh, even Americano, it, so the, you know, Nescafe Azera and uh, these guys, the gold do Americanos in that. Even then, or Intenso, even then they are not blended for espressos. They are blended to make longer drinks. You want the punchiness of uh, the espresso. So, I hope that's answered that. Uh, if I scroll, can I keep that to the bottom? I don't know whether that will. Instagram, it kind of just sits there. There's comments, don't scroll, but there we go. So, I'm gonna do uh, an espresso martini for you. I'm just gonna demonstrate. Uh, we are going to, there's like multiple ways you could, you could serve this up. I've got a little rocks glass here, you could do it over ice, You'd nothing to say that you have to do it in a martini glass. Or, of course, uh, we've got a coupe, which is what I was serving. So, uh, where did my cocktail shaker go? There we go. So, equal measures, that's what I'm going to go for. I'm just going to do, uh, I'm going to do actually um, 30 mil ones, there we go. Oh, I've still got my, I've still got my strawberry. I need, I need a few more my jiggers here. Let's wash that out. Excuse her. Excuse me for two seconds. Uh, there we go, that's got rid of it. Right, job's again. Right, so, let's go base spirit, and just to prove it, as probably I might have a little tipple, I'm going Brandon. But whatever base spirit you're going for, uh, I, so I traditionally, for these, I traditionally kind of preach 30 mil, which is US, one ounce, because they just fit perfectly, and 25's a bit too small, 50 mil's a bit too much, but it depends on the size of your martini glass at home. If you wanna go 30, uh, 50 mil, double bubbles, you do that, you be my guest. So we're going 30 mil of brandy. Uh, we are going, uh, what should we do? We, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just do uh, Kahlua, as it's opened. So I'm gonna do 30 mil of Kahlua, and then, a little bit of strawberry on my finger. And then I'm gonna do my espresso. Now this has just been made, I topped it up, I've done a video this morning, I've topped it up, it's probably been made about an hour, maybe less. Uh, so I'm gonna do 30 mil, it's lukewarm at the moment. It doesn't matter if it's piping hot, people say let it chill, it doesn't matter. If you've got, as soon as you get the ice in and shake, that's fine, you know, because you need, that. the ice gives it that little bit of dilution as well, don't forget. So, uh, plenty of ice. Let me get the ice. Did you hear that? Because I filled my ice bucket too full. There we go. 
There we go, right. So plenty of ice in there. You want a hard, fast shake, as always, 10 to 12 seconds. It's your daily exercise. Give it a power shake, and you have to do the face as well. That's especially for you, Damo. Did you say you were driving home? I don't know. Right, good hard, fast shake. Why is it all bartenders have like weird faces when we, that's why I do that, because you know, if we just shake, it looks weird. <laughs> right. That needs to be proper cold, so you can't hold it anymore. Oh, look at that, can we see that? I don't know where to see. It's annoying me that the camera's not focusing. I've, I've obviously locked it somehow on there without realizing. Right, we've got that. We double strain. Let's use and abuse the skills, one-handed. One day this is all gonna go a bit peak tongue, isn't it? Right, there we go. So, one-handed. See, I told you it's gonna go. <laughs> It's because I need, I need a bigger, I'm going to come up with all the excuses. I need a bigger uh, um, fine strainer, that's what it is. There we go. There we go, lovely jubbly. Look at that, look. That is settling. Can we see that? What's better, on the white wall? That is settling like a pint of Guinness. That is absolutely bang on. Nice, tight crema. That's what we want off there gives you that that is just I'll try and hold it up so you can kind of see it properly but can you kind of look at it it's just like a nice pint of Guinness gradually settling and let's go back sorry the, the chat's not on what is the old oh there's loads of chat sorry 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 I'll come back to the chat uh, what is the what is the garnish let me know in the comments what the garnish is uh, I get people all the time with this, but a lot of followers to my channel will know exactly what the garnish is. But, uh, did I get them out? I swear I got it out. Of course it is. You're, it's Friday afternoon, you've all been uh, kind of, you're all late. Come on, someone in the comments, we know it's coffee beans. How many coffee beans? That's what we want to know. Someone, anyone, anyone? Five, four, three. Uh, oh, bean, Carly. Bean, how many beans, Carly? This is poor TV. Come on, people, we need the answer. This is terrible TV. There we go, Carly three, Izzy three, there we go. Why three? I'm not gonna faff around and wait for, wait for the answer for this. It's three coffee beans, because it comes from the Latin con la massa, which loosely translates in Italian, loosely translates as health, wealth, and happiness. And if you don't give uh, three coffee beans, this is the way, I'm not Italian, so don't hold me to this, but word on the street, the legend has it, if you don't give three coffee beans to uh, Italian or someone, it's a sign of mistrust. Uh, that's the story that's done the rounds in our world for years and years and years. How true that is, I don't know, but we love that little legend, so we stick with that little legend. So, three coffee beans. You can do weird and wonderful things I haven't chatted about. You can kind of do coffee, uh, chocolate bitters. You can add chocolate bitters to your top. I've got a little spritz cap on here. He says, there we go. So I'm just gonna spritz the top of my thing with like chocolate bitters. So we get a light little, oh, gorgeous little chocolate note. So Angostura make chocolate bitters. This is uh, Miss Better's Bitters. That's just the brand that I use. Uh, loads of flavoured bitters in there, walnut bitters, almond bitters, just kind of adds that extra dimension. But this, as I say, this is a brandy uh, espresso, espresso martini, it's posher because of the X. Every time it just gets me, it's just, that is so, so good. So, so good.